Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here, and today I'm going to show you how to turn a simple Windows game, such as this version of Solitaire, into a native Mac app that you can run like any other program. Now, this doesn't require a copy of Windows, and everything you'll need is completely free. Now, firstly, you need to visit this website, winebottler.cronenberg.org. Click on the link to download the stable version, and it might come up with an annoying ad like this, but you just need to click the skip button in the top right hand corner. So once you've downloaded the disk image file and mounted it, you just need to drag both Wine and Wine Bottler into your applications folder. Now it's time to get a copy of Solitaire. And to do this, you need to visit this page on archive.org, where you can get the version of Solitaire from Windows XP. Scroll down and click on the download link for the zip file. After extracting it, you'll see that it has three files. We're interested in sol.exe, which we will convert into a native Mac app. To accomplish this, we need to open WineBottler, if it gives you a security warning, just accept. After it launches, you need to click on the Advanced tab, the third on the top, and then you'll be presented with this wizard which looks very confusing at first, but don't worry, I'll walk you through it. There's three main things to change. Firstly, you need to locate the sol.exe file that you found earlier. So I'll click on Select File, go into this folder, and here it is. Next, you need to change the installation mode. We don't want to have an installer, we just want a self-contained app. So you need to click Copy File Program to the App Bundle. Also, we don't want the .NET Framework or MSHTML, which is like a web browser, to be included because they take up too much space. So just untick both of those boxes. Hey, we're nearly done. All you need to do now is click on the install button down the bottom. It will ask you where to save the app. I'll just choose applications. And the name of it, I'll choose Solitaire. After you wait a little while for the app to be built, I needed to wait about five or 10 minutes, you will see Solitaire appear in your applications folder and you can run it just like any Mac app. And look at that, Windows XP Solitaire on a Mac. I'm Handy Andy Tech Tips and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and give it a like. Thank you very much for watching.